Hey everyone, um, I'm Luke, welcome to Jackass, uh, um, and this is the cheese grater, shit. <laughs> Beautiful dream. It was the perfect day. And all I could think about was how much I wanted to cut you all open and then climb inside your bodies. <laughs> so that we could stay one happy family. <laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel and time for another episode of Luke's Reviews. On today's video, one of the most renowned horror franchises is back hitting the blitz, blitz screen? Big screen. I think I've got blood on the mind because this film has more blood in it than a vampire liquor store. It is, of course, Evil Dead Rise. Two sisters have reunited with both of them going through some very personal struggles. But when an earthquake hits their apartment in LA, one of the sisters' kids discovers a secret vault housing mysterious objects, including a book featuring disturbing illustrations and talks of demonic possession. It's not long before those magic words are uttered, and a demon soon finds their way into possessing their mum. And from then on... Chaos Reigns. The Evil Dead series for me is a bit of an up and down one. The 1981 original is a seminal horror classic, filmed by Sam Raimi at the age of 21 and really daring to make some ingenious creative decisions. It has the feel of a group of friends going out into the woods and shooting a horror film together. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty campy and might look a little dated now, but it is still my favourite of the bunch. Then came along Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. Both films loved by the fans and the production level definitely increased tremendously. However, Raimi opted to go for a much more comedic sensibility for his sequels. And unfortunately, it just didn't work for me. I found the tones to clash too severely and really struggled to get on board. But in 2013, Fede Alvarez decided to take a crack at the franchise with his kinda remake, kinda reboot. But this one played it pretty straight laced. There was next to no slapstick comedy, and the level of gore wound up making this one of the most violent movies I have ever seen. And I really liked it. And so now, jumping back into the present day, Evil Dead Rise has hit cinemas. And how is it? It's fine. It's a, it's a good movie. I hesitate to say it was anything beyond that though. Let's start off with the positives and I think Lee Cronin did a fantastic job directing this film. I'm largely unfamiliar with his work but it became very clear to me that he can wring suspense and tension out of any moment he needs to and typically conclude with quite the grisly payoff. All of the acting is pretty decent. Alyssa Sutherland especially is leaving nothing half-assed when as the creepy deadite. Her performance is very physical in nature too, and she made for quite the intimidating villain. The rest of the cast aren't bad, but it is definitely Sutherland who stands out head and shoulders above the rest. Those head and shoulders also happen to be uh, decapitated and disembodied, but you, you get you get my point. And do not fret, all you Splatterfest addicts, there is plenty of blood and gore to go around here. The kills are incredibly violent, it definitely earns that 18 age rating, but what I thought was a really nice touch was that there is almost no reliance on CGI here. The kills are done through practical makeup and effects, um, and I always get a kick out of that. I think it's a really genuine way to make something even more disturbing when you know that to a certain extent it is actually quite real. However, whilst on the topic of the gore and the violence in this film, 
I never thought that these next words would ever leave my mouth, but I actually think that Evil Dead Rise was quite tame. I want to preface that by saying it's tame in comparison to the other Evil Dead films. It's by no means tame compared to like some of the more modern day horror films. When you have the property name of Evil Dead, you go in expecting ridiculous levels of gore, and there are ridiculous levels of gore here, but never quite at that same level that I have come to know and appreciate the Evil Dead films for. Particularly in regards to how quick some of this violence often feels. I know that some of the things that I'm about to say in the next few points that I'm going to make are going to make me sound like an absolute psychopath. One of the reasons why Evil Dead and the level of violence and gore in the Evil Dead franchise has always stood out to me is because that the violence is unrelenting and it's somewhat prolonged. It feels painful. You wince in terror. And that is because every act of violence is often drawn out. But that's not the case for Evil Dead Rise. Everything happens very quickly, very suddenly. So an audience member isn't necessarily going to recoil in horror because they are witnessing something quite gross happening on the screen. The chances that they might be a little disturbed because of the effect the end result of said violent act. For instance, here is a clip from the 2013 Evil Dead remake of a character using a, a little kind of jigsaw or a buzzsaw to cut their arm off. It's deeply unpleasant. It's not played for laughs, which I actually appreciated. I know I'm in kind of the small minority for that, but it's really, really horrible to watch because she is soaring through that arm and it's not a short scene either and the actual act itself she doesn't end up losing the arm until a lot later because it's hanging off for ages whereas in evil dead rise if people are losing limbs or having their eyes gouged out we're not necessarily seeing any more detail apart from that end result even the cheese grater scene which has gone a bit of infamy it's over and done with very quickly. I think that what also didn't help the film is that it takes a heck of a long time to set everything up. This film is like 90 minutes long and shit starts hitting the fan, I'd say about the half an hour mark, but that then doesn't really kick into high gear nearing about the 50, 55 minute mark. I appreciate the notion of setting up some of the characters so that we feel for them going through this really quite horrible night. To a certain point, I don't really want to dilly-dally along. I came and bought a ticket because I want to see some fucked up shit happen. Um, and fucked up shit does happen, but the fucked up shit happens a little too late. I mean, when it comes to all of that, maybe I'm a sadist. Maybe I just prefer my Evil Dead movies incredibly gory, and I would rather the violence be grueling rather than splashy. I also don't think that the location of where the film was set really helped it either. It's predominantly set in an LA apartment, um, but we never really get much of the geography of the apartment. We're not entirely sure of where everything is across this flat, not to mention there are corridors, there are other apartments. I feel like we could have really expanded upon that a bit more because we're used to the cabin in the woods and we get an idea of the layout of the cabin, but we don't get that for the apartment. And I think that hindered the film slightly. There is also an unhealthy amount of foreshadowing in this film. Almost everything that happens in the third act is basically heralded in the first act. It's it's far too on the nose. All in all, for anyone after a decent fright and doesn't mind a drop of blood, or more accurately gallons of blood, then Evil Dead Rise is worth checking out. It's sufficiently creepy when it needs to be, mostly due to an impressive performance from Alyssa Sutherland, but it coasted along too wildly at the start, and by the time blood started flowing, well it did pick up, but just not enough. And as I said before, the violence was grisly, 
but more pain was needed, I think. It's a good film, but it could have been groovier. I'm going to give Evil Dead Rise a 6.5 out of 10. Anyway, guys, those were my thoughts on Evil Dead Rise. Let me know, have you had a chance to see the film yet? What did you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And my question to you, what is your favorite film in the Evil Dead franchise? I think if I were to do my ranking, it would go Evil Dead 2 at the bottom. I know that is going to not go down well with some people. I just wasn't a fan. Then Army of Darkness. Then Evil Dead Rise. Then the 2013 remake. And then probably the best one is the original, the, the Evil Dead from 1981. I've got it over there. I just think it's quite a sick and twisted debut for Sam Raimi. But that is all we have time for here today. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hello, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to click that like button. And if you aren't already, click that subscribe button too.